interaction, you guys. <gasps> okay, does it, does he like her back? Well, that's cute. Welcome back to another episode of the royal family in this episode We are going to be focusing on the kids for the most part We're gonna be doing a few other things as well, which I'm so excited to do I want to focus on the kids in this episode and then we will kind of get back to our other plot things like princess Amira and what's going on with her and then also we have to go back to the very evil plan and revenge that Charlotte and her mother Harmony are trying to to get on the royal family of Oasis Springs, so we'll do that in the next few episodes. But this episode, we're focusing on the children because I do have the first love mod, so now we can see if there's any cute little romantic interactions going on with them. The first thing I want to do though, so one of my patrons, Ashley, who I have mentioned in the past, she built a mermatic palace, sort of. It's called Gorgana Palace, I believe. Let's see, yep, Gorgana Palace. So. This is in the gallery. It looks like it might be a remodel of another palace, but this looks amazing. You guys can see who the original is by here. And then this is Ashley, oh gosh, sorry. This is Ashley's username, so you guys can download the Gorgana Palace from her. So I'm going to make this Sulani's second palace because we, oh shoot, no. Oh, we do have a 50 by 50 lot. I was like, oh my God. I hope this works in this palace or this lot. I guess we'll have to see. But I know that the other royal families, like especially Windenburg, they have multiple palaces. They actually have like another palace too that I just downloaded also. Because in real life, the royal families do have multiple palaces. Castles and palaces. So I thought the Sulani royal family would have one too, especially because their main palace is based off of the Hawaiian, the Iolani royal palace in Hawaii. I think that's actually exactly what it is from the gallery. And then they get their own mermaid palace because they are mermaids. So I think that's a lot of fun because I think some people had asked us if we were going to download a mermaid palace. I didn't think about it until Ashley made one and it's just beautiful. It's so gorgeous. It's nice though because it's a place that they can just swim in like all the time even though there's water like all around them but still but look at that you guys <gasps> Ooh. I don't know if this is facing the right way but I am so excited to go there so I want to have the royal kids club gathering but I want it to be in Sulani. I don't know, the other kids are not mermaids though, but I do want you guys to see the palace too. Let's just have, we'll just say that Princess Leilana and Dean and the two kids, they're just going to, they're not like living there separately. I mean, they could if they wanted to, but I'm going to have them just be staying here I was gonna say for the summer, but it's winter time. But just like a little family vacation with the four of them. Although I feel like the parents would be kind of upset that they wouldn't be taking them too. But it's also like, it's in the same kingdom. They're not going far. They're just like a boat ride away or a swim away. I am yet again thinking way too much into this. But yeah, they are just going to move in there for a little bit, mostly just for the purpose of this episode. And also so you guys can see the new Gorgana Palace. That's such a cool name. Isn't that? What is, what does that mean again? I know there's like Morgana from, if you guys seen the Little Mermaid 2, the one with her daughter in it, the evil sea witch's name is Morgana in that one. So that's what it reminds me of. Oh, it is facing like perfectly the right way. Oh no, it's almost nighttime already. Although it's a school night, so all the kids are out of school. We're gonna start this Royal Kids Club gathering now. Also, if you've realized, I did not mention this. So I believe in the last episode, I said we were going to have the birthday party for Makata and Samaria. Well, they aged up before I got to them. So that was my fault. Oh, I also need to re-change her name. So we're going to start the Kids Club gathering now and we do have a lot of kids who have aged up actually like way beyond my control so we had where did they go well princess samaria and prince makana prince takashi i have to change his outfit that is a randomly generated outfit so i need to change it and prince adric's brother prince elon also aged up but it doesn't look like he is in the group so i need to have araminta add them to the group i also need to change your araminta's name to princess araminta because i haven't done that yet same thing with genevieve and cornelius they are royals as well but all the kids should be coming here our kids makana and samaria they cannot turn into mermaids yet because they are children. Oh my gosh, Arya, what are you, 
What do you? Oh my God, that looks so weird, stop. Okay, so all the kids are here now, you guys. This is so exciting. But yeah, so this is, oh, Prince Makana, your eyebrows randomly generated. Um, that's, he's supposed to have black eyebrows. I think there is something wrong with this hair, this custom content hair. So that could be why, because I definitely, he had black eyebrows before <laughs> to match his hair. And now he has red eyebrows. And then this is Princess Samaria. She is so beautiful, you guys. I love them both so much. They're so cute. They have green eyes like their father. I think their mother actually has green eyes too, but like a brown or green. So I'm going to have all the kids go swimming because why come to the beach if you're not all going to go swimming? So they're all going to go swimming together. So yeah, we have to find out who each of the kids would be good with. I feel like with Samaria, she's got a few different options. We have Prince Cornelius of Willow Creek. There's also Prince Adric of Selva Dorada. There's also Prince Takashi although we would have to figure out where they would go. There's Lord Nathaniel. She's got so many options. I mean, honestly, it doesn't even have to be a boy, so they've got options. I feel like, so people were saying that, oh, I remember someone had said that maybe they want Diana to have a chance at, uh, what was it? Oh, they wanted to Diana to have a chance with Cornelius, but no, they can't because they're cousins, so they can't do that. So no Windenburg royal kids and no Willow Creek royal kids can be together. Princess Arya and and Charles would be really cute though, you guys. Who else did you guys say Charles would be good? Oh, Charles and Araminta. I'm not playing from either of their point of views. I probably should have. And then Prince Makana, maybe with Princess Diana. Although, I mean, he's got the red eyebrows right now, just like her hair. Okay, now I don't know how to use the mod. I don't see see a romantic interaction. I swear to God, if I have hyped this up and it is not in there and not working, I just checked that it was in my mods folder and it is. Oh, you have to have a high friendship to be able to do that. Okay, so everyone needs to be friends. You know what, Makana's eyebrows are really bothering me, so I'm going to change that real quick. Okay, Makana's eyebrows are fixed. I should put like a playground or something for them just so they can all like play together. Cause I mean like they can swim, but I think when they're playing on the playground, they get more, oh, whoa, 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 what is happening? Okay. Yeah, the game is starting to become a little bit laggy, but I just, maybe just because I've been playing for a while because it was fine. I filmed, I'm filming this episode directly after the last episode with the wedding and that one was fine. So I do think it might just be be because I've been playing it for a while. I should I should definitely give my PC a break after this. Okay, let's have everyone go play pirate together. This is so cute. It's such like a different little setting for them because they're always around like, I mean, this is still a palace, but they're always around just like fancy stuff and they always have to be super elegant. And now the kids get to have fun and Leilana and Dean are hosting this too. I feel like Dean is dealing, he still has not told his wife, Leilana, about his sister and the revenge on Oasis Springs. And I don't think he plans to, honestly, so that might blow up in his face. I feel like things might, like he's starting to feel like things are getting a little bit out of hand with the plotting. So Charlotte is now the nanny, the royal nanny of Oasis Springs. So I think he's just worried about things and he feels like something's gonna happen and he's trying to control the situation without getting Leilana involved. But I feel like he might eventually have to get Leilana involved. Oh, and then we also have Bellatrix too. So, I mean, basically they just have to get a really high friendship with them. The oldest one here is definitely Lord J. He is going to be turning into a teenager in think like four sim days or somewhere along those lines. So he's the oldest one here. People were saying maybe Bellatrix and AJ would be good together. I haven't actually seen them talk much or click and they've kind of been in the same area. Like they've been around each other for a while. So they have really high friendship. <gasps> they have the first love interaction, you guys. <gasps> Okay, is that the only one she's got a high relationship with? Oh, I was hoping her and Cornelius would get along, but they really don't have like any relationship together. So things, start practicing your hiding. Okay, so things seem to be going really, actually Cornelius, oh no. I was like, oh, Cornelius and Diana are talking a lot. They're cousins, I keep forgetting that. I guess Samaria is going to reveal her crush to Prince Adric. I might jump to like one of the other families or yeah, one of the other families and play from their point of view. So we can kind of see all the points of views of things. Okay, does he, does he like her back? Well, that's cute. Does he exchange numbers? 
I guess kids have, yeah, they do. They have phone numbers too. Okay, exchange numbers. I read that that thing only happens once. Like you only have the option to do that once. Whereas with like your other Sims and EA, you can exchange numbers multiple times, even though you already know each other's numbers. Okay, so they hugged. That's super cute, you guys. Oh, hug again. Oh, okay, is that, okay, so I guess that might be the only, okay, that's cute though. I think that's really cute. Oh, um, but it doesn't look like they actually get a romantic bar, a romance bar, but I still think it's cute that they can have romantic interactions with each other. Oh, and it says first crush, you guys. Prince Adric is Princess Amaria's first crush. That's adorable. That's so cute. Okay, how is Makana doing? Makana, are you close with anyone yet in this group? No, you're not. Uh, Genevieve is getting closer, but everyone else not so much. So it looks like Genevieve right now is in the lead, I guess. I don't know. Okay, why don't we go ahead and switch over to, why don't we switch to the royal family of Brindleton? Oh, not Brindleton, of Windenburg. Okay, we are now playing from the view of the Windenburg royal family. Why is it, is it cold here? It's cool, but I don't feel like that's enough to wear your winter coats because everyone else is wearing their bathing suits and stuff. It is very dark though, I will say that. All right, I wanna see what their relationship is with everyone in the group. Oh gosh, now it's very dark and the kids actually do have to go to school soon, unfortunately. I do wanna have a ball for them. I'm debating if I wanna have it when they're all still kids or when they turn into teenagers. I'm thinking more so of teenagers but we'll definitely see. Um, yeah, but I wanna see what their relationship is with everyone. Okay, Charles and Araminta, they, they're good friends. They are good friends. I don't think he's good friends with anybody else. It's pretty much just her. Kind of Princess Arya. Oh, okay, so between Arya, oh, well, Arya's just a friend and Araminta is a good friend. Ah, oh, crap, they do have to go to uh, school soon. Maybe I'll have them take a vacation day. Take a vacation day before you actually have to go to school and before it's too late. Although I think all the other kids are going to end up going to school. I don't really know anyone yet for Princess Diana either. So we are just going to have to see kind of how it goes. But I, oh no, you weren't supposed to go to school. I, you took a vacation day. I just want to see if this relationship with Charles and Araminta is going to go anywhere before we move on because there's just like a few more things I want to do. Okay, he does, he has the first love interaction. I don't know if you should reveal your crush to her in front of her brother. Maybe you guys should go somewhere else. Okay, yeah, ask her to cloud gaze, kind of just get her alone. Okay, now I am going to have Charles reveal his crush to Araminta. Araminta's parents are very much, they're very strict about an arranged marriage for her. Oh, she likes him back, guys, that's so cute. Okay, exchange numbers, and then you guys can hug. But yeah, her parents are pretty strict, and they might have her be with someone that her father knows really well, that her parents know really well, that had like a really high standing status, or like basically the equivalent to a noble in Glimmerbrook. I think I am just going to have all of the kingdoms have the same noble system as Willow Creek and Windenburg and all of that. I think that will just make things a lot easier. So I might end up doing that and just having them all be the same thing. And then I'll make a video for you guys explaining nobles and everything too. But okay, so he has revealed his crush to Araminta. So we'll see if that actually works out. She might end up being in arranged marriage. On the other hand, Samaria and Makana, parents are not as strict in Sulani, and the parents are not as strict in Selva Dorada either. So maybe Samaria and Adric would actually be really good for each other. So we'll get to see, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is, we're gonna leave the kids here. We'll get to pay attention to the other ones later. I think the next kids that need to age up is Princess Belle's daughter, Ariana, and then also the, who is it? Oh, and then Princess Aisha. Someone told me it's Aisha, it's Aisha. A-Y-E-S-H-A is Aisha, not Aisha. But she's next to age up. And then we also have the twins, Julia and Elena of Willow Creek that need to age up. So there's gonna be a lot and we're gonna have a lot more kids in the kids club too. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to do was have Megan and where are they? Oh, Chocolate Box Tutor Manor. Um, okay. But I want to have Kellen and Megan actually try for a baby now. So Megan's charity work has been doing 
awesome. And I feel like it's been a while and they are ready to have a baby. They might just have one, not 100% sure. Also, Megan's not feeling well, but we'll get to see if she does still have a baby or does get pregnant, that's what I meant. Okay, so try for a baby with Kellen. I'm so excited for them to have kids, you guys. Someone was saying that Megan and Kellen were their favorite couple, and then they were saying Amira was second, but they just said for some reason, Megan and Kellen, they just loved so much. After I edited the 100th episode of the Royal Family where they did elope, I was like, wow, this, was the most beautiful wedding, I feel like. And it was the most simple. It was not decorated. It was just so simple. And for some reason, it just seemed the most beautiful for me. And I don't know why. It was just because I guess they eloped on the cliffside and it was just them two and it was so sweet. Maybe because I didn't have to deal with other people getting in their way. That would explain a lot actually because in the Brindleton Bay wedding, People did that, people got in their way. Okay, so they are trying for a baby for their first time. So this is a play, like their house. It's the house that was from the previous owner. I have not done the remodeling that I wanted to. I will probably try to do that. It's like a little bit dark, kind of dingy and old. So I might just update it a little bit. Uh, okay, Megan. Megan is now taking a pregnancy test. Oh gosh, oh no, poor thing. She's feeling so feverish. I feel so bad now, I'm so sorry. I'm putting you through this. Oh, but she's pregnant. It was worth it. Megan's pregnant, you guys. I'm so excited. I mentioned in the last episode because Johan and Sidi S Samer no, Sidira, they tried for a baby and Sidira is pregnant and that I have a long list of baby names from so many suggestions. So, oh, but their dog needs to go to the vet. Oh my gosh, take the dog to the vet. Okay, Kellen's taking him to a vet clinic, but I said that what did I, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I have a long list of baby names. You can make suggestions if you want. I add them to the list, but there's a lot more suggestions than there are babies. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. I unfortunately can't use all of them, but anyway, okay. So you guys don't need to see him take to the vet. That's all I wanted to do in this episode. So I am going to end this episode here. Kellen will take care of little Noodle. I might rename him. I'm not sure how I feel about that name. I'll probably end up renaming him. But we are going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed watching the kids. We'll get back to our other pro plot lines or subplots a little bit later in other episodes. For my Dynasty fans, I will be posting a dynasty episode in the next few weeks. I apologize, I have not. I've been so invested in the royal family, but I will be doing that soon. If you loved this video, make sure you hit that like button and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!